Hey guys, and thank you for joining me for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum ASMR Nuzlocke Challenge. We previously left off at the footsteps of the third gym leader, whose name escapes me, in Hardhome City. And as mentioned, I did grind my party to level 25. Uh, I believe I said level 24 last time, but I just went ahead to 25. Um, and hopefully that's not too overleveled. Um, we also have a couple of moves that have been changed. As a result, uh, Clopin finally learned a slightly better psychic move, Psybeam, to replace Confusion, which had a base power increase of 15. And I gave Booger Rock Smash instead of Pound, um, which is probably almost as useless as Pound, but it did allow me to get a nice star piece from behind some breakable rocks and outside the city. Um, and that's it in terms of updates to our team. There is one other thing I looked up, Zadu's moveset. Um, in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, and basically these are the only moves apart from maybe one or two others until about level 42 before we get another attacking move. So what I will be doing is probably trying to find a TM to give Zadu, and honestly I have a Psycho Cut I think at the moment. Which I should probably give to Zadu. Um, and in fact, I'm going to just so Zadu has, you know, some sort of attacking move. I'm going to get rid of Lucky Chant, I think. I think Teleport might come in handy at some point, so I'm going to get rid of Lucky Chant and give Hermes Psycho Cut. Now obviously a special psychic move would be more ideal to give Zadu, but um, we don't have access to that so we're going to have to make do with Psycho Cut. But without further ado, let us engage in our third gym leader battle. Oh, 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 oh. Finally you have arrived. Since I came to this country, always I tried to learn new things. They are contests in this city. I say to myself, if it, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Say en performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader, and uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does. No. Versus Marilyn. I hope my French accent uh, was serviceable to all you French speakers out there. So we have a Swallot on level 24, which is honestly perfect for Clopin to try out our new side beam. Alright, so it's still not super strong, but definitely better than a, uh, a Confusion. Just gonna opt to use a Super Potion immediately. Alright, so that special defense increase really uh, sent me back a little bit there. I'm not even sure that this next one will kill, and it definitely won't now. Thanks to the plus four. There's not much you can do about this one. So that would have been a bit of a worrisome sludge had I had fairy typing from Gen 6. Uh, but thankfully we are pure psychic still. Booger grows to level 26, which is kind of nice. And Marilyn wants to send in a Lapras. 
now Lapras, I would like to send a name Twig, but Lapras can have eyes moves, and um, I don't need to risk it really when I've got Axiom here with a perfectly good charge, spark, combo, or, you know, just spark, we might just go for spark and see how much that does. So it does a bit over half anyway. What kind of berry is this? Citrus berry. Alrighty. That should be fine. Okay, he's a super potion again. Okay, that's an interesting choice. You know, it would be cool as if uh, Rain Dance made electric moves more effective versus, or like more powerful versus, only versus, uh, like it's already super effective types. So if you're going against a water type, it would be even more effective, or if you're going against a uh, flying type, it would be even more effective. But um, then I guess it doesn't really make sense to ever bother using Rain Dance, because you would just get your own Rain Dance to Pokemon wrecked. So that just goes down without much of a fight in the last Pokemon is Electabuzz. So I don't want to send out Kamek Boat or Hermes. Twink, it can't really do much to it. I feel like Book is probably a mistake. And Corbin has pretty weak defenses. So I think we might just stay in on Axiom, unfortunately. His head looks so weird in this generation. It's like the pointy bits on the side got cut off or something. That's so funny. Right, we're gonna go for a bite. And Electabuzz goes for a swift. Okay, if that's Electabuzz's best move, we should be pretty good here. Doesn't seem to want to throw out a fire punch or anything, or an earthquake or anything like that, which is nice. Never give up, never surrender. That's good life advice. Oh, we don't have any super potions to use on Electabuzz, so this should just be the end here. Oh, okay, parting gift, thank you very much. Alright, well that was, um, honestly, probably one of the breeziest gym battles, or just battles in general, that we've had so far. Um, which, you know, I'm not complaining. What? Booger is evolving. Alright, look here, our little Booger boy is evolving. <laughs> Congratulations, your Booger evolved into Squallot. Booger wants to learn the move Body Slam. Already knows four moves and move be deleted. Um, Body Slam's pretty dope. I wish I could see my stats from this screen. See, now I wouldn't mind getting rid of Rock Smash, but I won't be able to, which is a shame. Body slam, body slam, body slam. Maybe instead of Amnesia. I feel like I'm just not going to use Amnesia that much. Like I've used it a few times. Maybe I just don't take Body Slam. Um, I think I just don't take Body Slam, honestly. Yawn has been very handy for catching Pokemon. I would get rid of Rock Smash if I could, but um, I can't at the moment. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. We receive the relic badge from Fantina. That badge will let you use the hidden move Defog outside of battle. Also, you can make use of this technical machine. That is what I think. Obtained DM65. It contains Z-Headbutt. Of course it does. A very startling move it is. 
it's it's turned critical often. It's actually is an headbutt. It is actually is an headbutt. Is that better than Psycho Cut? Okay, it is, but uh, I hope he's can't learn it anyway, so I'm okay with that. Alright, so three gyms down, five to go. Should be right on track to finish up in 2025, I think. <laughs> okay, so now that we've completed this city, I'm honestly not sure where to go next. Um, I guess we check the map and have a look. After we heal up our team, get rid of that nasty paralysis. And now that we've got a bit of money, I might go buy some supplies from the Pokemon. Sell that nice star piece that we had. Excuse me. Is this the name Raider's house by any chance? No, Puffin House. Okay. Shame. So let's sell the star piece that I got. The cypher is sold it. No, here it is. Pinatosh. Pinatosh. Oh, we got Grey Balls now, which is fantastic. Um, I want to buy, like, just 20 too much, I reckon. Yeah, probably, probably too much. Let's see what else we need for the Super Potions. I'd like a bit more of how many Super Potions can I get? 22. Alright, let's go, like, 11. Actually, let's go 6. 6 Super Potions. Uh, regular potions, I'm okay. Uh, revise, we can't use. Antidote, I've got two. Paralyze, I'll two. Awakening. Uh, oops, hang on. I'm still looking. Escape rope. I think I've got a couple. Repel. No repels. Super repel. Um, Alright, so I will buy. Seven more Pokeballs. And then how many Great Balls can I get? 17. Alright, I'm gonna buy 15. Leaves us on 1,400. I think I'm okay with that. So we've got a bit more of a chance of catching some rarer Pokemon now, which is, is really good. Um, I'm thankful for that. Alright, so let's have a look. Female 
is, uh, is going a rapidash at level 25. All right. A little, a little intimidating. But, uh, Cat McBurn should be pretty good here, I think. Got this way, Lord. Flame wheel. All right, so he resists that nicely. I would still like to have a, you know, a nice graveler or something to fight this rapidash, but alas, it is not to be. We stomp for flinch from stomp. And now I'm getting a little nervous. Alright, now I'm getting very nervous. I seem to be flinching a lot more in this game than I ever have in any other Pokemon game. Oh uh, yeah, I'll show you something we can do. Uh, not before I heal, you won't. Annoyingly, I'm gonna have to use like super potions here to get myself back into fighting state. Oh, you withdraw. Okay. Carnivine as well. Alright, he's got his own tweak. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, Clopin has air slash booger has booger has sludge. If this Carnivine has the same attacks, I'm not too scared of it. With uh, Clopin. Oh, actually, it has Bite, doesn't it? Can it have Bite? I think it can have Bite. It might have Bite. Oh, yeah. Uh, we kind of want to get out of here. This was a mistake. Sweet scent. Okay. There's a chance it doesn't have Bite, but since mine did... I'm not willing to take that chance. We're going to hit it with a sludge. From our freshly evolved Grimace. Is this poison going to be enough to take it out? Alright, it does have bite, so... We did the right thing, I think. Alright, so poison won't take it out because it's going to heal first. Sadly. Critically, of course, on the uh, last end, shred of its HP. Booger gains 500 experience, and Cat McBurn and Clopin both gain 100. Send in a Lunar Tone. Lunar Tone. I think Twig could be around here. We've got Bite and Vine Whip. Ooh, level 27. Getting spooky. in Gen 3 of the Lunatone and Soul Rock fight with the twin gym leaders, that was always a struggle for me as well. Alright, Rapidash coming out to take a Vine Whip. And it just dies anyway. That's embarrassing for you, Mitch. What kind of trainer are you? Unless... No, he's just going to bring Lunatone back in. I was going to say, unless it was a strategic... You know, he wanted to get a clean swap in on someone, but... Psywave. I always hated Psywave because of its range of damage. It was garbage. Twig gets a double KO, which is very nice. The book occurs to 27. And uh, Mitch is about to send in a Dusclops. I think we can. Let's, let's stay with Twig. We've got Bite. We'll give that a go. Very interesting team. Um, does young Mitch have full sight? Alright, so thankfully you're not going to give us anything too spooky to worry about. But there's no giving up. Shadow Sneak. Oh wow, Shadow Sneak's in this gen. Okay. I always thought it was in a, in a later gen. But I guess it's like a Giratina move. So, that makes sense. Um, Booger gains 400 and so does Twig experience points. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Wow, well, it goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. Say, hey Green, remember what I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. 
I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work with beans. I guess I have to grind it out and toughen up the team a bit at a time. Anyway, I'm off to Salazion Town. See you, Green. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. Let's go ahead and uh, use our handy dandy teleport. I can't use that here. Okay. Back in that case, or bike back. Um, yeah, just need to freshen up again now that we've had another big beefy battle. It'll be nice to leave harder city behind us after spending, you know, the better part of two episodes here. And, uh, Once we get out to the other side of the, <sighs> thank you, the um the round connector, including a new encounter, which will be very exciting. Right. Anything interesting to say, ma'am? There's a wrecked stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. It's got me very curious. So we're fine to get an account here, so we're going to go ahead. And our encounter for Route 209 is... Please don't be like a Mewtwo or something ridiculous. Something I can use. Something I can use. Fetching step. We can't. We can't. We have to run. My poison type. But, oh, we, we can't, man. expecting a ground type move except it has slash as well <laughs> there's nothing I can do this is like the worst Pokemon that I could have encountered here and this game is clowning on me every time I play it every time I load it up it, it just wants to see me miserable so I have to leave um, I have to swap into Hermes and then try and teleport I think because I've got too many Pokemon a week to ground type moves. Okay, honestly, that was fun. I still don't think we can capture it though. However, I do have a little bit of hope now. If an ancient power from a Groudon that is super effective did that much damage, then. Hopefully a slash doesn't do that much. And we can we can try and get this boy. And if I can figure out what moves it has, that's all the better. I will give this a couple of balls, but much shot around so it does actually have a ground type move, so I can't get it to sleep then. Which is a shame. Because it'll kill swallow it in the less. What I'm thinking is I could have uh, Clopin set up um could have Clopin set up much sure. is that physical or special uh, reflect and light screen swap into I don't think Clopin could swap into a mud shot though, that's the problem. Let's just try a great ball. No, 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 we can't. We only have a certain amount. Um, man, this sucks. I'm just going to look up if mud shot is physical or special, I think. Okay, so my shot is a special move. So here's what I'm thinking. There's always a chance that Booger could survive 
Special Defense 62. What's Clarpens? Special Defense 70. Alright. Gonna risk it. If it doesn't work, we just swap back into Hermes. If it, if it looks like it's gonna do too much, much shot, because it shouldn't do too much. We swap back into Hermes. Okay, good. Alright. Good start. So now we want. So don't kill yourself with confusion. Alright, light screen, book up. Scary phase. Okay, so scary phase. Ancient power, mud shot. I'm, I'm liking the look of this. Yawn. Okay, that does like nothing. Wait, speed fell. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we have a very very realistic chance of catching a crowd on here. Like, I don't want to say it's perfect, but now what I'm going to do is actually set up amnesias as well. So that once the light screen wears off, um, Booger can just tank everything and we can keep yawning this thing. Now, now what I also have to figure out is how many balls do I want to use trying to attack this crowd on? Because trust me, one crowd on is not worth my entire inventory of Pokeballs. I'm gonna go for a great ball. One, two, and it's out. No, I can already tell. Wiggles is, you know, promising though. One, two, nope, down again. I believe that we can do this. I wish I could get it down to just a little bit less health though. You know, I need like one more turn of confusion or something. Damage. Who's got like the weakest attack? roll out, but then I'd keep attacking it, and then blah blah blah. Axiom gets dunked on, Clopin would kill it. Um, I need like an Astonish, but I think Astonish from something seven levels above it would do too much damage. I need to just hope for the best here, I think. I don't think I can do more damage to it now. My best bet would be to confuse it again and hopefully it only gets one round of confusion damage. Come on, we can do this. One, no, it's out. I don't like those critical hits sir. I do not like those critical hits at all. so bad, you have no idea how much I want this. Come on. No. It's somehow gotten worse. Okay. I kind of need to heal, because if it gets another crit, I think I lose my... Actually, if it got an ancient power boost after it's run out of mud shots, um, which would mean I could hit it with like a weak physical attack, hopefully not get a critical hit, do a little bit of damage to it, and um,
What do I do here to waste a turn? You know, how many trackers? Alright. Wouldn't mind a stat boost. Yeah, okay, cool. Interesting. So that's a pretty decent turn because we did have our uh, amnesia. And he got a defense boost. I would think this guy would live a, a rock smash now from Booker. Wait, I'm level 27 though. That's a lot of levels higher. Arceus, please. I believe we can do this. Nope, he's out again. He's not even trying anymore. Not even trying to cooperate. Why did I have to bring up Mewtwo? Why did I have to jinx it? I would have taken a bloody... another Diglett, honestly. That means immediately breaking out now. I need to get him into the red. I need to get him into the red. Okay. Damage Gilk this, I'm sorry. Okay, so running damage calculations says Rock Smash versus a plus one ground arm is possibly the worst move ever. So I'm gonna be really sad if this crits or kills it. Um I've already yawned. I don't think I have, so we're gonna yawn first. Gives another chance to get another defense bit buff. Which it doesn't, which is a shame. But that's okay. Alright, drowsy. And you know what? If if this does not get out, it just wasn't meant to be. Okay, that's really good. Defense fell though. I honestly would like it a bit lower, but I can't risk it. I can't risk it. Come on, Booger. Bam. We're in such a good spot, but I just don't think we have the balls. Doesn't even want to stay in for a single jiggle now. Have 
plenty of Pokeballs, but I just think if a Great Ball's not going to do it, then a Pokeball's not going to do it. <laughs> no. It's so disheartening when it just bursts out on the first turn. You have no idea. A single jiggle in the next like seven pokeballs i'm just gonna run because we're gonna wipe out my you know my inventory wow okay we got a single jiggle i guess we're trying a little bit more now got a lot of turns to sleep which is nice Exact ground type to be wanting to add to our team. Well, we got like max sleep turns, so that's really pleasant. It's a shame we didn't get more of those. So we weren't so low on on your own PP. sort of like a lost, what is it, a uh, sunk cost fallacy. It's like, if I catch it now, it's all worth it, but I could just always stop throwing broken balls at it, you know. He wants to be caught so much. He wants to be mine. much I'd have. 
as long as he doesn't crit again, we're fine with Booger. Just don't crit again, just don't crit again, just don't crit again. Cool. Okay, so go for Yawn, just don't crit again, just don't crit again, just don't crit again. Excellent. Alright, so then we Yawn, we heal up, we use a few more Pokeballs, and then we have to dip, we have to dip, man, we cannot use all of our Pokeballs on this. sort of decides it for us. It's very upsetting, honestly, very upsetting. I would have loved to have had that crown on. Alright, let's get out of the grass. Get some items. Why must you mock me like this? this game with me, Clopin. A Stami. Now that I am a little bit scared of. We do have Twig though, which is nice. So as long as it doesn't have Ice Beam, for some random reason, we should be fine, I think. I can't imagine it will have Ice Beam. I don't think it's a normal level up move for Stami. always like it's a really cool design but it always just seemed like such a letdown of a pokemon just stat and move distribution wise axiom crystal 26 which is pretty good and booger gains some experience oh this time he's coming back out yeah whatever tweak can finish this one off Alright, calm down over there, mate. I'm 
honestly. Yeah, I hate to do this, but I think uh, if I go much further, we're going to go over time. So I'm going to have to teleport back to the Pokemon Center. Heal everyone up, and we'll try our journey again towards um, Selecion in the next episode. But at least we did, uh, you know, make some progress. We had some significant battles. We got our third gym badge and took on Mitch one more time. So we're all set up for the next episode to head towards Salacion. Um, yeah, missed out on that ground on which again would have been really top notch. But it just wasn't meant to be apparently. Um, on the plus side, we do have a bunch of trainers in this route that we can now take on. Um, get a little bit of money and restock our supplies once we hit the next town. Thankfully we didn't use too many potions or what have you. But we're going to leave it there. I'd like to thank you for joining me for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And uh, I'd like to thank you for supporting the series so far. And I hope to see you in the next episode.